Hey violins, this is a rundown of the violin one part of Hiawatha by Soon He Nubal. Uh, this piece uh, really is uh, f uh, focusing on honoring uh, the Native American Indian Hiawatha and uh, what it really is trying to capture is that whole uh, sort of just really uh, just bold spirit uh, that uh, was within him and uh, is transferred on through generations to come. When you are learning this piece, make sure that on the D string um, we have the one two pattern. We're going to pull that second finger down to the first finger so that we can really have that low two F natural as well as on the A string, low two C natural. Um, and uh, what I like about this piece is you've got some new techniques in here that you got to really focus on um, or different kind of techniques. In the beginning, we're going to have a uh, more of a marcato kind of bow stroke in the beginning to have that opening melody but that's going to be in contrast to 22 where it says legato where everything is very smooth and connected um, at 29 uh, take a look at the last two quarter notes in that measure and you're going to see uh, that arch that connects those uh, two notes together the a and the c sharp that's called a slur and that means that we're going to play the a and c sharp on an up bow um, and we're not going to change the bow. It's going to be a smooth sound going. And then we all right, I played C sharp. My bad. C natural. We got to really get that up bow. Really, really beautiful uh, pastoral kind of scene going on right here. Um, other than that, the piece is full of things that you actually already know. The last thing I'm going to point out is uh, measure 48. That F natural on the E string is going to be a low one F natural. And we've learned this before. If, first finger is, if the first finger tape is here on the E string, we're going to pull that first finger back by a half step so we can get that low one F natural. And that way, when we get this sound here at the bottom, we have we lift and come on the E string. Uh, do the rest of the rhythms at the end of the piece to really end it. So hopefully that will help guide you in what you need. Um, be aware at measure 12 while you're pizzicatoing, this is cello, bass, and viola, and they have a really, it calls for the lower sound of their instruments to come out. So it's really dark, heavy, and beautiful at the same time. Here is 100 beats per minute. It's not a fast tempo. And if you listen to the publisher recording, they take it much faster. Um, but I prefer this piece at a slower 100 beats per minute. And the reason being is we're really going for more of that uh, steady heartbeat kind of sound that's so indicative and so uh, just powerfully written inside of a lot of Native American Indian music. So here is, I'm gonna, when I start counting, I'm gonna go ahead and start at measure three because cellos and bass start off with that drum kind of bow chant they have in the beginning. Here's measure three. One, two, three.
is uh, Hiawatha in a nutshell. And I know I pointed out the low 1F natural at measure of 48, but bear in mind that it comes back at 46 and then going backwards, 36, 35, 34. And so those are going to be other passages that I'd really focus on as well in the first violin part to get down uh, because a lot of students are so used to that first finger being in that regular first finger spot or regular first finger spot that I call it. And we got to remember that um, F natural is a half step back on the E string. So I know it's kind of funny the way it works, but that's just, that is where that note is. So really practice on pulling that first finger back uh, so that you're ready to go really when it comes to the first time at 34. Um, as always, happy practicing and good luck.